Hi guys, this is Supersonic here for here for here with uh why can I never start these things off right? Anyway, um tutorial, Unity 3D, let's do this. So today I will be showing you pretty much just how to set up a trigger zone so that you know when you walk into a particular area or something, it will actually trigger an event to happen depending on what you have coded. So as of right now, as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank slate. I'm just going to do a couple of setup things real quick because, uh, well, because one, there's nothing here, and two, just to kind of show that there's not any steps that I'm really skipping because I hate tutorials that they're like, oh, this is how you do this, but they skip like 19 steps in front of it. So, just to show you that it is really as simple as I'm making it out to be. Alright, so, here I have my terrain. Uh, I'm going to just add a different texture to the terrain just so that we can tell stuff apart. Oh, duh. Boom. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Get that wheel a rolling. Here we are. Grass rock. All right, add that. Boom. All right. Then go ahead and have a point light. Whoops. find my third person controller make sure he's on the ground I know this tutorial is kind of moving slowly and I apologize for that, apparently. Oh, and now my uh, thing isn't going to load. There we are. <coughs> Alright, so essentially what we're going to do is go find the game object, create other and for just purposes of this we're going to just make a cube alright I'm going to go ahead and stretch this cube out a bit and um actually I know this is terribly unprofessional but I need to go ahead and do an emergency something real quick so excuse me Alright, cool. That was terrible. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's see. We have this monstrosity now. Let's go ahead and move it a little bit over here. I'm just going to move it over there. So, as of right now, I go ahead and start this up. And just for future reference, this box will be our the what we're going to use to uh, trigger but as you can see this box is definitely a solid object can't pass through it can't do anything with it what I'm going to do is over here with the box selected you go over here to the inspector tab and down here under box collider where it says is trigger you want to go ahead and check mark that what that will do is instead of making it a sol solid physical object it now knows that it's a trigger zone so 
you can pass right along through it. Now, right now we don't have any triggers attached to it, but you can pass through it. Um, what I did was I went ahead and got just a small snippet of code from actually the official Unity forms. Uh, this, I mean, the tutorial, and pretty much what it is is just destroy everything that enters near the trigger function on trigger pretty much <clears throat> if this code works correctly as soon as I pass the trigger zone I will be destroyed so um take that how you will not having an emo moment or anything but let's see if I can go back to cube alright so what I want to do is go ahead and take this script click and drag it over to the inspector for the cube and so now this script is going to be running alongside with all of this. So when I go back into play, and I take my trusty construction worker and jump into that, boom, no more. And as you can see, even over here, I'll do it again, Oops. is that the third person controller is actually still running and still active. And then when I walk into it, bam completely just disappears destroys itself what you can do is obviously don't want your trigger zones to always be showing so you go over here back to the inspector area and you unclick the mesh renderer what that does is it well, it does pretty much exactly what it says you won't be able to see the area or there will be no mesh render to it however the object in space will still exist as far as a zone and so here when I run the game I'm not gonna see it but just at a certain point boom I just cease to exist now this trigger can be used for things like you know like starting up like you can have it start a cutscene you can have it pop up something on the user interface spawn monsters uh, weather effects just pretty much anything that you want to be triggered by placement of your character in the game you can do through the means of this and it's also of course not limited to the cube alone you can also do it with the sphere capsule cylinder plane all that yada yada but essentially that's how you would go about doing that so you can even per se if you want to make a automatic door you can make the trigger zone close close to the door have the door be in the center of the trigger zone and then whenever you walk in have the trigger zone set off and then the door slide open or however way you'd want it to work or whatnot and that's pretty much a tutorial quickie uh, from there just go ahead and flex your programming prowess because uh, I didn't show you too many things because I'm not gonna lie to you my programming is not exactly the greatest thing so Hopefully this helps you guys out at least a little bit and uh, trying to look for what you're looking for. And I know most of you have most likely already probably turned this video off by, by now. So I'm going to do the same. Until next time, I will still be supersonic. I am not a conditionally charged name, so to speak. That, would make, that joke would make sense if... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What are you doing? Okay, well apparently I can't stop this recording, so um, you guys go ahead and close this and start browsing elsewhere. I am going to go ahead and uh, find this. Ah, there we are. Wow. Cool. All right. Oh, bye.